Hello traders, welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. Let's take a look at the markets right away. First of all, euro dollar uh, well basically didn't make the upside as, as expected. It it did a little bit, but ultimately didn't break through this resistance and uh, broke through the 21 EMA instead and made a dash down uh, for a lower low. So from this perspective, I think price is certainly facing a lot of resistance here. Uh, with this trend line, the 20 EMA break was very unconvincing so far. So I think this is more of a bouncing spot uh, for a move lower at this point uh, to certainly retest the support, like for instance, 117.50, the head and shoulders level. Uh, but also if we just put a fib from here to here, uh, it could easily go down to 117.80 and a 61.8 fib, for instance. Now, if price does bounce in this area, it could indicate one more push higher uh, for instance, to the head and shoulders level here, all right, and that's still a possibility for price to bounce at 119.50. If for whatever reason it does make the break instead, I would be very careful. I would not trade it on this time frame, maybe on a 50 minute time frame. There we go. And uh, yeah, there is a possibility for an immediate push up towards 119 and 119.50, but more from an intraday perspective, not from a swing trade perspective, because the space to the upside is is quite small in my view. So maybe on a 50 minute chart, the break above 118.70 uh, could lead to to such moves to the upside. All right. Uh, here on hourly chart, uh, you can see once again why this 118.70 is such an important spot, triple top at this moment. So price would certainly have to break through that before we can get an upside. A break below this fractal, we might see indeed the push lower towards these fibs. Now, if price does break through this uh, fib right here, I mean uh, bottom actually, sorry, then we should see maybe a bigger push down. Okay, and in that case, the downtrend is confirmed. We already have a lower low and we have lower highs. So, break through that, break through 117.36, and we should see push through uh, to uh, lower lows and uh, we can put a fib from here to here and we can see price maybe falling down to 115.70 for instance uh, let's put a fib also from here to here and yeah 115 could be the target eventually now that would not you know there would not be one fall in, in one shot there would be ups and downs obviously so there could be a break flag continuation pullback and then continuation but in my view we are you know getting into uh, some some bearish territory now 117 it's still an important level actually. There could be a bounce at 117, but then I would expect a break lower after that if, if you know there's some good mild reaction there. So this is uh, an important break in my view. Uh, usually speaking, we should see follow through to the downside, maybe all the way down to 116, if not 115. Uh, otherwise, that's about it, I guess. Break through this level important. If we get an intraday break above the resistance trend line, uh, 119, 119 is important, and otherwise, price is likely to retest the support and it could either bounce or break at the support. I'm open to both, really, to be honest. And only a break above 11960 and 120 could really uh, mean or indicate that the trend uptrend is back in play. For the moment, there's a lot of indecision. Uh, two dojis in a row on a weekly candle means that we really could send uh, see this price move in any direction. But I'm leaning towards the downside. There's a lot of wick resistance wicks here at this moment. So I think that uh, maybe some deeper retracement is a little bit more likely at this point. Okay. Um, so I'm leaning towards that. But two, in, two doges in a row, of course, basically means a lot of indecision. And basically means that the price could easily stay within the range for the moment. Which means, for instance, down, up, and then down again like this. Uh, basically respecting both head and shoulders patterns and, and going sideways like that is also a very uh, serious option. So keeping an eye on uh, the trend line, keep an eye on the bottom, keeping an eye on 1950, and keeping an eye on any potential breaks, of course, up or down. All right, pound USD, very interesting because it's in a channel like this and it remained in the channel. So on Wednesday, we were looking for the break that did happen. And it went to 130, but not 130.30, which I think I had as main target. 130 round level acting as uh, the resistance spot. 
and price making a dash down it didn't hit 128 or it was very close to hitting 129.60 but ultimately missed it made a bounce again and but not enough momentum here to really break and continue with this subtrend the, the long to moving averages acting too much as resistance here and price bouncing at that uh, zone and making a higher a lower high excuse me so in this channel uh, to the upside still intact all right although price action was more volatile uh, i expected a bit better breakout but ultimately not a bad breakout about 70 pips to the upside here so i think for the moment key is the fractals here uh, a breakthrough to support fractal here at uh, 128.60 should send it lower towards 127.50 127 and i think that would be a good breakout and price typically should not uh, go back above 129.50 in my view if it breaks through 128.70 uh, here or this 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 bottom alternatively if it breaks through this top then it should go higher i think to 131.25 and retest uh, this this zone in here let's put a fib from here to here and should retest the uh the 50 fib here and the previous fractal like that uh, well, of course, it could stall and pause at this 38.2 fib, but I think it will be probably a flag and continuation up to that 50 fib. That's if it breaks this. So let's get rid of this fib and let's put back the. F so, really looking for a breakout here, in my view, of one of these fractals support or resistance. Resistance for a bullish breakout, support for a bearish breakout. Um, let's take a look at the hourly, or let's take a look at weekly. Still very dominant bearish candle but last week was bullish though buying pressure on the daily chart in my view and uh, let's take a look at the hourly uh, let's see how price responds to this support zone here at the uh with five, four and the 61.8 fib at the previous bottom with five and the minus 100 target that could be a bouncing spot to be honest and if it does bounce there, uh, then it could be test the previous top. And if it breaks that top, it's upside. Of course, if it breaks to this bottom, one, if it breaks to 128.50, well, then uh, I expect that the, the downside, the bears will take control and there will be a bearish break of this flag. And in this, of course, I should note that this flag could also easily be a bear flag. Uh, price is still below the 38.2 fib. Look at that. You see? So this could easily be momentum flag and if it breaks through this fractal at 128.50 a continuation breakout below the flag so that is definitely something you want to keep an eye on keep an eye on the ball and with uh, the four hour chart here i think uh, this bear flag pattern is certainly something uh, to be aware of but if it does bounce then it could also easily correct up to the 50 fib at 131.25 all right that's it for now uh if you're interested in uh more research education check out research and education click on for instance education or blog for a daily analysis and announcements and, and news events and news in general or webinars we got a lot of webinars scheduled up take a look tomorrow wave trading and then it's weekly trading ideas automated trading on tuesdays the lo uh, london open events ea and other eas are coming by the way as well next over so webinars is a great spot to keep in touch and learn what's new that's about it wish you all great trading see you on wednesday cheers bye-bye